Hello everyone, it's me, Luminaire. Ooh, I feel weird right now. I'm in that kind of state of being where I had to get up early to drive my sister to the train station. So I'm sleepy, but I also had a lot of coffee. So I'm like wired. I kind of got... I kind of have sleepy energy going right now. Also, I got the queezies. It's a tad nauseous, because that usually happens whenever I don't get enough sleep. God, I hate that feeling, staying up in... Staying up in college, studying for exams. You go, your, you go to take your 10 a.m. test, feeling horrible on the way. Like, uh, uh, I don't know about you, but when I don't get enough sleep, I get nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. <sighs> but of course, I can't go to sleep because of how much coffee I had. And even if I did, it wouldn't really be good sleep now, would it? Anywho, uh, yeah, more Disgaea. I haven't uploaded anything in two days regarding this series. So sorry about that if you've been waiting for this. We're very close to the end. In fact. I think the next, cha I think the chapter after this will have the final boss level. No, I think we got two more to go. Ah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, if you checked out my Sonic Generation uh, Let's Play yet, you probably saw um, my new intro. What do you think? Uh, of course, uh, if you've only been watching this guy, uh, that's cool. But um, go uh, go check out any of my Sonic vids and just wa and uh, check out my intro. I actually made it a long time ago, but I only decided recently to start um, adding it to my videos. I didn't really want to add it to Let's Plays, but I'm like, eh, uh, I think it's about time the people saw it. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I think it, I like it a lot. Um, What was it? Uh, I, I'm not going to add it to the Sky 4 vid since I've gone so long without putting it in. I figured I'll just finish the Sky 4 without adding the intro to any of the videos. But everything else, I'll, I'll start adding it afterwards. So we'll see how that goes. Ugh. As for this stage, well, it looks straightforward, although it can be complicated. Uh, no, it's not complicated, it's just. Your execution is crucial, and I should have leveled up Natalia before I took her into this level. Come on, uh, range is everything. They're all on really good uh, effects. And uh, probably the, the trickiest is if you don't have good enough healing spells, that uh, succubus is going to be pretty hard to take out. Magic. So... I think I'm just using the reverse of the yellow block for Valvatores to be invincible, per se. To take out the death. Remember, you don't have to have people out for your... Yeah. for... <laughs> to get attacked. What space is he standing on? I'm going for a combo. Low with that defense. Oh, he's on recovery 40%. That's not... That helpful. Chocolate. Chocolate. Not bad. Hey. Not bad. Um, I should probably just let Fuko take the hit next. See, I got the sleepy queasy going on. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm entertaining. All right. Here I go. Uh, next character. Let's see. Here. Come over here. If you didn't know by now, the next special character is Raspberry. Another character voiced by Laura Bailey. <laughs> she is quite prolific these days. Although I saw some uh, YouTube videos of her doing voices for fans at cons, and you know she, she's pretty cute. Um, she's pretty good looking. I think, I think she's really good. All right, uh, and I think she does a really good job with Raspberry. She's kind of a badass like that. Alrighty. The few monster characters. Uh, she's a monster like Desco. Uh, Raspberry takes work if you want her to become everything that she can be. Give a good selection of caster stats, she has potential. The problem is that she won't have all the spells that you'd like to, her to learn. Carol World is an essential stopping point for Raspberry. Have her save mana and then learn from other casters so that she can. Uh, fill out her skill list with more single target damage dealers. Also, get her a more offensive yeah. ability in place of helping hand. Once this is done, Raspberry can hit single targets and groups with fair stopping power. Law by Range is wonderful for staying away and tossing death across enemy lines. Oh. Have Raspberry kill oh. enemies that are hidden by no entry panels and other obstacles from far enough away that she won't take any attacks on the enemy. Uh, yeah. Although, I would argue that since wands, uh, creatures with stabs increase your magic range, their they'll range will be even better than Raspberry's if you just take, get her ability. Anyway, she changed her mag- uh, yeah. Beat Event Battle 3, after you beat Flan. Uh, magic change type is that thing, although it's, uh, it used to be a sword in Disguise 3. Now it's a staff. Oh, that just sounds Alright, uh, she can move forward, she bounces characters four spaces. 50% fire resistance, 25% wind resistance, and neutral to ice. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, aptitudes, HP 90. SP 120, attack 90, defense 100, intelligence 130, resistance 120, hit 100, and speed 100. Good enough intelligence stat. Uh, let's see, her main ability is Love Thy Heart. Raspberry deals 20% more damage against higher level enemies. Uh, this, this ability unfortunately becomes useless once you max out her level at quad 9, because no level will be higher than her. Uh, such a shame. And you can't keep her perpetually at level 999, uh, sorry, 9998. I don't think that's possible. So I think by default she does not have a useful ability for being the best, your best caster. I just don't think it's possible. Um, Come over here. Let's see. Then we have Law by Range, which increases magic range by 2, but uses 50% more SP. Uh, yeah. Uh, useful for useful for uh, other mages if you give it to them. Although most human mages would prefer would prefer the uh, magic knights elemental. Um, yeah, the spirit benediction. What was it called now? Elemental force. There we go. Yeah, the, that that ability is much better. Although, since Raspberry is a monster, she can equip three abilities, so you can have Law by Range and um, Elemental Force. Although that only uh, brings her in line with uh, other magic casters. Yeah, I mean, at least Magic Knights have a uh, twenty percent um, Elemental increase as their native, or Imizel does fifty percent more damage to single targets. So I think Raspberry is again out, a bit outclassed in that regard. And finally, Helping Hand, which decreases damage attack, damage against allies that are using Protect by 50%. How often are you going to be using that? Uh, not often enough for this to be useful. Sorry, Raspberry. Cutscene. Uh, stay out of my way. Get out of here. Why don't you tell us your plan, Fenric? Well, it's nothing great, but 
I'll need to test the waters first. I made a vow to myself. I'll destroy every human being for myself, for my family, for Miss Artina. Judge Nemo, do you think that's really the most righteous thing you can do? Do you think Artina would be pleased with your actions? Miss Artina? That's right. Didn't Artina save you at the cost of her life? Would a woman like that seek vengeance? Don't you think this would only disappoint her? Disappoint? Miss Artina? How is this happening? Fen Fen's being nice! This is unbelievable, Mr. Fen Fen! I'm more surprised that he was actually able to carry on a conversation with Malice. Judge Nemo, you can hear my voice, can't you? You're purposely trying not to see the angel in front of you, aren't you? Can't you see her? An angel, you say? There's no angel here. I can't see her. I know you can. You're just in denial. You just don't want to admit the fact that a woman who died because of you has gone on to become an angel. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Talk to him, Thief Angel. Can you hear me? That... that voice is... Yes, it's me, Artina. I'm right here. Th that's impossible! It's not. You've been deceiving your own eyes and heart. The woman who stands here is none other than Artina. She has watched over you ever since she died. She has tried to speak to you countless times to save you from your own curse. But her voice never reached your ears. Now, that voice is desperate and pleading. Mr. Werewolf. It's as if he's seen it himself. I'm rather impressed by my servant. Artina! Artina! That's right, Artina is here. She doesn't wish for you to destroy the world. Your actions are only breaking her heart. Artina! Artina! Fenfen is right! Please don't do anything more to hurt Artina! Miss Artina is right here with us! Please believe us, Mr. Nemo! Yeah, just believe in her and you'll be able to see her! Artina! Artina! Ah! Uh-oh! He's breaking down! Don't you dare speak her name, demon! Only I am worthy of calling out her holy name! I, who dedicated my life to exact retribution for her death, am the only one who can utter her name! Please stop! I don't wish for any of this! No! You're lying! That's not true! Damn! I suppose my words weren't enough to tame his malice. You can't trick me! I'm gonna destroy the world! I'll kill you all! Bastard! Are you saying that you're even going to kill Artina? Miss Artina is dead! Humans and demons are both responsible for killing her! So I'm gonna kill all of you! Now, this stage can be tricky if you don't know the trick. So, those. So, all my stats are lowered by 20%, essentially. Um. And I didn't think about it at the time, but that red warp block should clue you in. Uh, there's actually. Uh, it looks like you're supposed to somehow have the height ability to jump that high, that's actually not the case. There's actually a hidden warp panel underneath uh, one of those blocks. I, I discover it by accident, but um, uh, th this map could be a, a lot harder. I, I mean, you might. it looks like you have to like stack the blocks and make a staircase while just getting bombarded by status ailments from these guys. Not so. Don't let it fool you. Yourself. Alrighty. And being a special character, she also has her own special attacks. Although, special attacks aren't usually as uh, useful as um, regular spells for magic characters. But, here we go. D1 rule. Uh, sorry, D rule 1. Morality. 
Uh, the power's F, so it sucks. Intelligence is 10, and it hits the three people right in front of you in horizontal row. Uh, Raspberry is a basic attack and trivial damage. You can't hit for big numbers even with a high intelligence, but you can at least load her up with monster weapon that gives her some damage output. Then we have D Rule Tool. Yeah, wow, I can't Here talk. I D Here Rule I Two. Dos. Here I Dude. come. Yeah. Here I come. I don't know any other languages. But two. Uh. It's a uh, cross that can move three tiles away. Uh, powers E. Uh, all these are based on intelligence, by the way. Volunteer has a decent hit range and enough area of effect to be a decent support magic for others. This is meant to replace morality even against single targets. The increased cost is not an issue. It's only 20 SP for the, for the lowest tier. Again, normal spells would be better. And finally, D rule 3. Eco friend! As she says, I think it's pretty funny. Uh, power C. Um, it can hit five tiles away in an X, so that's nice. Finally, with her third attack, Brasbow gets something that can actually knock down the target or two. Its cross pattern is a somewhat unusual one, so that further adds to the range and utility of this spell. It's unfortunate that you start with Rasbo level enough to have all of her abilities, because this is one that you'll end up using the most. Raise the ranks as high as you can forward and let Volunteer be your spell for times when running out of SP is a problem. Uh, yeah. Decent damage. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing with Rasbo. I don't think she... While she has... She used to learn fire attacks, although I can't remember. I think she doesn't learn any magic attacks on her own now. So you have to teach them all to her from the Carol world. Uh, that only adds to the annoyance. Uh, let's see. Then, of course, she's a monster, so she also has magic change skills. Don't forget about that. This one will be worth it. This one will be worth it. Uh, we, first, we have Imperial Cross. Uh, the power is C. It, it hits a single target up to four tiles away in a straight line, I believe. Although it might hit diagonal, I can't remember. Uh, when magic change, this attack becomes available. It's, it's a decent attack in terms of damage. Casters turn into decent snipers when using it. Just make sure to punch the ranks of this to get its damage higher. The low base cost of the attack ensures that there aren't many risks in doing this. And then... There's Delta Extreme. Uh, the area of effect is akin to a giant magic changed blade brush. Where? No, sorry. Wait, wait. Ooh, Delta of Death. Yeah, that's a pretty cool attack. So see, because it had such a big um, area of effect, when I rotate the camera, Take I this. kind of notice Here that I there come. is a red block underneath one of the blue blocks. Brace I'm like, yourself. warp panel! See? You can barely see it. Do you see the red? You can see it now. I have more I'll, I'll, I'll notice it. Oh, sorry, not giant... Um, not giant blade rush, more like... You know what? I don't remember. Uh, but it's a... It's a direct row of... It's a, it's a straight line of four. It's a vertical row of four. With, um... Two... Uh, with... Uh, with the middle two blocks having another block on either side of them. So, right in front of you it's one, then three, then three, then one again. If that makes sense. Uh, the power is D, and Delta Extreme has tepid damage for such a high cost, but at least you can cover an area with a single use of the attack. Only use this when you're going to hit several Here enemies at once, otherwise it's a major waste of resources. So overall, Raspberry takes a lot of work to get competent, and even then she's still not as good as many other normal magic casters for, uh, evil for probably evility reasons. Uh, not the best main ability, and also she, do she doesn't learn any magic by herself. So that's just uh, troublesome.
Be best magic casters are still late, late game, probably skulls. Also, uh, magic knights and uh, you, uh, a measles great and uh, the Omnio monks are actually have a really good, are good for hitting multiple enemies. So there you go. M most most it's going to be hard to have a better caster with than um, that doesn't use a stat. However, I would say the best monster magic class is probably death. So, uh, because the uh, SP damage uh, can actually be helpful against if, if you don't one shot them with uh, with raw power, the SP damage will lightly get them down to zero. Otherwise, ghosts can just recover SP every turn and um, just you know they they have the they they can use higher powered and bigger area of effect spells more liberally. But, uh, Raspberry is admittedly a really cool character. Uh, she's just funny to listen to, and if you're a fan of Laura Bailey like I am, that might be uh, reason enough to use her. Uh, she, she won't be your strongest character, but she sure is amusing. If not just to hear her talk. Which one of you is <laughs> like wants to take my lesson. Uh, she's funny, man. Kind of a badass. And that's Baz Barrel. Baz Barrel. Uh, so yeah, too much. Too big a height difference. Oh yeah, and uh, good news. I have a job now. Follow my order and present your file, I can sir. pay for this shit now. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Best Buy, for hiring me. Domination. I admit, obviously, it doesn't use my career, uh, my degree, but you know what? I like Best Buy. They're a good company. I don't mind working for them. In fact, I, I think I'll enjoy working for them. I haven't started yet, so I'll have to do training. Although, t technically, I'm waiting for the results of a drug test. Um, you ever, has anybody applied within the, like, the last two years, at least, for a job that didn't require you to take a, a drug test? Because the last job I applied for was uh, back in 2010. No, technically 2009. Um, and that required a drug test. And, you know, I think, I think like, most jobs won't want you to get tested for that these days. Just go to a lab, pee in a cup, and, uh, see if you, they'll see if you do the sticky icky. Which, I don't, but people should be allowed to, but... That's a topic for another video. Not, not probably not one that I'll make. I'm sure plenty of people have made videos regarding that subject. Uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, I've sold cell phones in previous jobs. So now I'm just going to be selling cell phones for a Best Buy, pretty much. Um, technically, it's only seasonal. I'll be helping out with the Friday, uh, with the holiday rush. That's the phone. Excuse me. That never stops being annoying. Uh, yeah. So it's it's technically seasonal, although um, I'm a I'm a damn good employee. I can convince them to let me work longer. But point is, gives me stuff to do, and I can make sure it's the perfect small job. But I I'd be pretty damn comfortable. With that. I'm good with customers, and I like tech. Not to mention, I can abuse that employee discount. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, those sorcerers are getting annoying. <laughs> wow, they should not sound like that. <laughs> Gone. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'll have to work Black Friday apparently. That'll be a first. I think I thought shopping on Black Friday alone was bad. Can't imagine hey, working yeah. on it. That'll be interesting. I got an email from uh, the, the guys I shipped my PS3 to. They just said, your PS3 has just been received. Uh, payment pending. Like, ugh. Please don't let there be some kind of problem with my credit card now to delay my PS3. I mean, I have fine credit, so... Just approve it and give me my PS3 back, damn it. Of Arkham City, uh, Arkham Asylum is still in there. Burn a demon! Follow my order and present your vile soul! Your vile soul! Domination. Total domination. Yeah. Not bad. Ugh. The nausea won't go away. I has got the queezies. I don't got them bad. I have to wait for this caffeine to wear off before I can take a nap. Ugh, look at all those almost dead sorcerers. Ugh. Oh. You're all gonna die! I got nothing left to say. Don't look at me like that. I entertain you people for half an hour for nothing. I'm not your monkey. You can't tell me when to dance. in the day and I can put out another installment. Thank you. 
Good night, thighs. My life was saved by Miss Artina. So, I'll dedicate my entire life to punishing all human beings and the entire world. That's, that's my atonement. He's done. He's becoming fanatical. He won't listen to our words. Looks like we shouldn't have mentioned Miss Artina. We might have to just defeat each malice we find, one at a time. No, we have to make him acknowledge Artina's existence in order to break him. He must admit that Artina, the main purpose for his vengeance, has reappeared as an angel. If he understands the truth, that revenge is not what Artina wants, then his actions and his very existence will be invalidated. Such mental damage will be much more effective than any physical damage could ever be to Judge Nemo. You may be right, but... Is that why you were being really nice to him? Why else? My only intentions were to cause him pain and to destroy him from the onset. That aside, I agree that making Nemo acknowledge Artina's presence is the best way to stop him. Yes, I agree as well. If we can make him do that, we'll be able to tame the power of malice. If we can control his malice, the power of Fear the Great will be weaned off, and that will be our chance to attack. Excellent. I will do whatever it takes to make him believe that she is an angel. Mr. Vampire. <laughs> Mr. Balzi is the only demon who would fight to make someone believe in angels. Desco, you're wrong. Valsy isn't fighting for the sake of angels. He's fighting for the sake of Artina. But he probably won't admit it. Oh, and neither will Fen-Fen. <laughs>